Howdy folks and welcome back to Pool School. In today's episode, I'm gonna teach you how to test the salt levels of your pool and the different ways you can do that. So what do you say we get right to it? Alrighty gang, before we get started, I wanna thank you once again for watching this video. Remind you to like it if you do by clicking that thumbs up icon below this video. Subscribe to my channel if you've not done so already and please share my channel with everyone you know who owns a pool. Also, don't forget to check out my website, poolschooler.com. It's gonna come across the screen right here. It's full of more exclusive membership only content that will help you save even more money servicing your pool yourself. Alrighty, so a while back I did a video many years ago on <clears throat> how to test the salinity of your pool. And I used a particular uh, salt tester, electronic salt tester for that. <clears throat> and honest to goodness truth is that tester is to me kind of obsolete. It's a little confusing to use. And so I picked up a different one that I really like. I'll show you that in a minute. But there are basically three means to testing the salinity of your pool, okay? And again, to know how much salt your salt system, your salt pool needs, I'm gonna put a link to two different websites below this video in the description that will help, that have calculators that you can enter the, how many gallons your pool is, what your current salinity level is, and how high you want to get that salinity, and it will tell you how much salt to use in your pool. So once you know what your salinity level is after testing it, and then you go to that calculator, one of those, one or the other one, you can then find out how much salt you need to add to get your levels up to the, to the level that you want, okay? And again, refer to your user's manual on your salt generator, but typically they say 28 to 3,400 parts per million is pretty much ideal. So you get it right in that middle range, like 3,200 parts per million, you should be in good shape, okay? Cool. Alrighty, so there are basically three ways to test the salinity of your pool. And uh, the first way is probably the least favorite of mine, and that is, well, actually there's four ways. And the first one is the least favorite of mine. That's using salt test strips. I'm not a fan of those. They're very hard to read. They're very confusing. So I'm not gonna waste your time on that. Don't waste your money on salt uh, test strips for salt water pools. I'm not talking about test strips to touch the chlorine of your pool, because even if you have a salt pool, you're gonna test your, your sanitizer as chlorine. So it doesn't matter whether you use, what test strips you use to test your regular pool chemistry, the chlorine is going to show up the same, whether it's a salt pool or a chlorine based pool. Okay. Um, but <clears throat> uh, don't get the test strips that test the salinity of the water. Okay. The other method is to take your, a sample of your pool water into a reputable pool supply company and have them test just the salinity. One of the things again, with I always warn you about pool supply stores, a lot of times they'll test it for all kinds of stuff and then they'll sell you a bunch of stuff you really don't need. Don't fall victim to that. Go in, test just for the salinity if you're going to do that. Make sure you take a fresh sample and you don't let it sit in your car a long time. The third way, and probably the, the, the first line of defense as far as measuring your salinity is that your salt generator and your unit on that generator should have a salt set sensor. And as long as you keep your, your cell clean and it's your, your system is not that old, that is fairly accurate. I don't completely rely on them, but it is fairly accurate. I've seen some of the sensors go bad and then we've had all kinds of problems with getting the salt levels right. So that is the, basically your first line. You can always do a visual inspection of that and see what your salinity levels is. However, to double check or cross check what you're doing, uh, your salt levels, I would recommend getting a really good salt tester like the one I'm about to show you and use that to test your salt and salinity. And you can cross check it with what your system is saying. And if, if one is off, then you can, I would probably rest assured that if you're using your electronic tester right, then it's probably the, the sensor in your system. Alrighty, as I said before, I used an old, I used to have a, a different, um, salinity tester that was electronic and digital and uh, it was very confusing to use i did a video on that a while a long time ago and uh, i would not recommend watching that video i'm going to actually do a video on this new one that i have i like it it's a lot lot cheaper and it's a lot easier to use it's a very simple product to use okay this is it right here and this is my number one go-to choice for a digital electronic salt tester salinity tester i'm going to put a link in the description to this video uh, below this video so that you can if you want to get one of these you can order one I think they're not as expensive I mean the other one that I was using was like over a hundred dollars this one I think is under 50 bucks and it's really accurate very easy to use click the on button it goes on and it measures the only difference is it'll measure to Fahrenheit or to the temperature Fahrenheit or Celsius but it's really easy to use so this is what I would recommend you use to test the salinity of your pool and then again once you test it 
and you, know, you want to find out how much salt you need to add to your pool, just go to your the calculator in the description on below here. I've got two links to two different calculators. Enter your gallonage of your pool, the current salinity, and what you want to get the salinity up to, and it'll tell you how much salt you need to add to your pool. Why don't we go to one of my pools that's a salt pool and check the salinity and see where it's at, and I can show you kind of how this works and how I use it. And then we'll also cross-reference it to what the system says. Okay, so I'm at one of my client's pools and this is a salt system. And this actually was the pool that, when I told you earlier in this video, that sometimes the built-in sensor on the, on the salt cell goes bad and sends you a bad reading. And that's why I don't completely trust them. I mean, it's a good first thing to look at, but I don't really trust them completely. That's why I like the digital tester. So apparently what happened with this particular client, instead of trusting my tester, he trusted the unit and ended up adding so much salt into the pool, it ended up being like 70 something hundred parts per million, way too much for the system to work well. So we had to drain the pool and it ended up that the entire unit of the salt system was bad. Another issue with salt systems, they don't really hold up in the Arizona sun very well for very long. So he replaced all that, got it all calibrated, and now he's got his chlorine, uh, his salt levels where they need to be. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how easy it is to use this unit. Okay, it has a little cap on the bottom, I already took that off. The electrodes are right there. And all you do is push power button, it turns on, it goes to zero. Can you see the zero? I'm hoping you can see the zero. It goes to zeros. And I'm gonna flip the camera around and show you how easy it is to test the salinity of this pool. Then we're gonna take this and we're gonna compare it to the sensor and see how close they are. Okay, so here's the unit. I'm gonna back it out a little bit. Okay, so we're gonna just take it and I hope I don't drop my phone in the pool, but we just dip it into the water like that and it starts to go up. Right now it's at 2470, 2480. So it's hovering right around 2,500, it's kind of bouncing around. But once it gets solid, sorry, that's about it. 2,510 is about the salinity of this pool, if you can see that. Now, if I take it out, it's obviously gonna go down, all right? But that's 2,510 parts per million. So let's go back to the, to the unit and see what it says. Alrighty, so I'm back at the control panel. Obviously, this is a Hayward Swim Pure Extreme salt chlorine generator. And according to this, the salinity is 2,900 parts per million. So, personally, I trust this tester more than I trust that because that has to be calibrated and this comes calibrated. So, again, it depends on what you want to trust, but they're within about 400 parts per million of each other. So that's not that bad. So again, that's the digital salt tester, and it's one of the reasons I like it. Like I said, I found it to be more accurate overall than even the sensors on the control panels of most of these units. Um, again, if you want a third opinion, you can always take a water sample to your reputable and trusted pool supply store, have them test only the salinity of the water and see what they get, and then you can find the average and balance between all three, okay? So there you have it, my friends. That is my video on how to test the salinity or salt levels in your pool. Remember, I'm gonna put a link to two different websites to help you know how much salt to add to your pool based on how many gallons your pool is, how much salinity is already there, and then what you want the salinity up to. And, and it'll tell you exactly, you can plug that information into the calculators and it'll tell you how many pounds of salt you need, okay? So I hope that made sense. If you have any questions or comments, as always, you can leave them in the comments section below this video or you can email directly to me. My email address is gonna come across the bottom of the screen. It is kennypoolschool at gmail.com. Once again, kennypoolschool at gmail.com. Remember to like, subscribe, and share my channel. And don't forget to check out my exclusive membership website, poolschooler.com. Until we meet again, and have fun, be safe, and always watch those kids and elderly folk and pets around water. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.